Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm working on the RM stuff again. And having a bunch of fun doing it. Another informal stream. So the one thing I wanted to do was I wanted to move this into kind of like a foundation uh, directory. Because it seems weird having them all in like the root. about this. I think I actually want to have something that acts as a container. I think I want to have something that acts as a container that you have to create an instance of. It's really nice having a global function. It's really nice having a global function but at the same time uh, you know, at the same time, it's even better if this was decorated in some kind of container that ensured singleton instances. I think that would be better. I don't know. I don't know. We take this out the global namespace and rename this to helpers. Oop. Helpers. I actually like this more. So. Um, taking this stuff out the global namespace, I can just call share at any point. I don't need to prefix it, uh, but I do need to change this to src helpers. It's kind of similar to how Laravel does it, I think. I need to add a foundation suffix to these namespaces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. use any of these things, right? I should use, I should implement extensible on data object and have like hooks on it, I think. I mean, that would be fun. Possibly. Possibly. Hmm. 
Okay, let's adjust the tests because that stuff's all going to be broken. And I don't like that this is abstract test. I'd rather just call it test, even if it's like test slash test. Test, test case. Test case. So I need to um, re import these things. Like that, I think. Pretty cool track, I think. Damn it. still work? No. <laughs> Composer do you. So config generator. Okay. Well this is no longer config generator, it's generator. I think some stuff would have broken in here, no doubt. This test actually, I should mark this as incomplete. Because I 
have to redo that because it now generates XML. Lame. What is the um? What's the PHP init method for this? This mark is incomplete. That's what I had. Class not found. Oh! Test foundation fixture extensible. Test foundation. I haven't moved this into a uh, thing either. So like that's the one thing, but the next thing is I need to move these as well. Oh, and then some more of this database. I kind of want to try and keep these um, structures as clean as possible, which kind of means having a bird of duplication here, or at least complexity. Oh, compose it to you. Compose a DU. <laughs> One day I'll get there. Um, data object analyzer. So it's this. This is the problem. Database fixture. Database fixture, database fixture. Do I need to adjust these? Oh, yes, of course I do. Nope. Like that. Hmm. That seems right. Damn. 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 Test, database, fixture, and then the class name. Analyzer is saying it's not found. So, test, database, fixture, class name. Test, database, fixture, class name. Line 28. What? Is this the generator code that's giving this error? I wish there was more info in the stack trace, like what actually caused this. Because this is class not found. This is very much class not found. <laughs> 